acting up with a group of her former pupils, 22 years after she taught them art at Glengore Road Secondary School on the Isle of Dogs. It's now called the Cubit Town Infant School. The reason for the reunion is the staging of an exhibition at the Whitechapel Gallery, where a collection of paintings by Mrs. Foden's old pupils are going on show for the first time. The paintings are children's impressions of the world they lived in, a unique record of the hate dogs, when the docks, streets and rivers were bustling with activity. All the pictures were painted in 1961. Then it was still ten years before the recession began to erode Dockland life. Now the West India and Millwall docks are closed, a far cry from the booming 60s when more than 8,000 East Enders worked for the docks and the shipping repair businesses alongside them. In those days, up to 30 ships a week used to come up the tent, just one a fortnight. The island is called the last Cockney village, and the community is determined to stay on in the hope that new industries and investment will bring new jobs. The paintings in the new exhibition were uncovered by local history researchers six months ago. Since then, they've been busy tracing the pupils who painted them. Well, we have one of those pupils with us in the studio, Ray Rayner. We also have Mrs. Foden, who started the whole thing. Val, how did you get this project? Well, I was so inspired by the unique atmosphere of the island. I hoped that the children I was teaching would record it. But you took them all up on the roof of the school, didn't you? I wanted them to soak in the atmosphere and to really portray what they saw and felt and knew around them. And, and you actually took them climbing onto the roof of the school to get a view of Dockland, wasn't Yes, it? We, we worked up there for a long time sketching and the children deciding which aspect they wanted to paint. And That's the classroom. Right, yeah. Ray, Rayner, you were 14 when you painted for Mrs. Foden here. What do you remember of her as a teacher? Well, I, I can remember actually. Um, she hasn't changed at all <laughs> compared to all those years ago. She, she was nice but firm. She was yeah, firm, was she? Very firm. She kept you working. Oh, yes. Let's have a look at your painting, Ray. Are they going to show it to us? It's a picture of... Now, what is it? Um, that used to be the Ryark ship repair firm that used to be an industrial site on the island. Has it gone, like so yes, much else that's, in Dockland? Yes, that's now gone. It's, um, it's now in a uh, block of flats now. Do you so actually remember painting that? Um, not quite, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I do. You remembered it when you saw it, perhaps, when you were reunited with Mrs. Foden. That's right. I can remember the Royark ship repair firm being there, but um, I think it was 15 years ago or so since um, the firm was closed down and changed. Must have been, though, but you didn't That's carry right. on with your artistic career, did you? No, I'm afraid not. No. What do you do now? I'm a fireman now. Do you ever paint? No, only... Um, Decorating the house, that's about all I've painted. <laughs> painting now. and decorating at home. Mrs. Foden, what do you remember of the Isle of Dogs, particularly from an artistic point of view? Did you look at the Isle of Dogs then with something of an artist's eye and find it in some way inspiring? Well, I have to say I'm not really an artist, but I was deeply moved by the island, by the, the, the shape of the cranes, the, the bustle of the, of the ships, the, the beauty of ships. The ships mm. are always beautiful, docks are always beautiful, I think. And what do you think now that everything is so derelict and quiet there? It's, it's really tragic. It's sad to go there. Why did you keep the paintings all those years, 22 years? Well, I, I felt at the time, and I felt increasingly since, that they epitomised the island, the life of the island. They're naive paintings, but they're full of life and vitality. What about you, Ray? Do you go back to Dockland now? You've left, you live in Essex, but do you go back and visit relatives and friends there? Oh, yes, I go back um, in between my night duties. I stay at my mother and father's house when they still live on the island. And uh, but it's, it's changed. I, I don't think I would go back to live. Sad to go back there now. Yes, to so what it used to be. Very good about being reunited, Mrs. Foden, with your pupils and Ray with your classmates. It's great, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's magic. It's it? marvellous. She Is hasn't it quite changed an emotional thing? It's, she hasn't changed. it's every teacher's dream. And are you looking forward to meeting them all tomorrow night? Oh, it's night? going to be fantastic. Do you think you'll get a bit overcome? Probably, yes. <laughs>